I'm new to human design and the reflector. That's interesting. Reflectors are the rarest type. 1% of the world is actually reflectors. So... Reflectors are the most open and the most receptive the most adapting to your environment, the most absorbing of all energy around you. When a reflector is in a group, the reflector will absorb the thoughts, the emotions, the sexual energy, the willpower, the pressure, adrenal energy, a sense of direction, a sense of identity of the average five people that they're around. So, as a reflector, the people you surround yourself with are your greatest asset and you to you need to choose them wisely it can be overwhelming not knowing how to navigate it that's why human design is great human design can show you all these open centers and then you know what has come in from another person and what is you if you lose yourself often you need more alone time you need time where there's nobody around you like pre preferably in a room or even your own apartment mm -hmm. and just know that you are very sensitive to your surroundings and you need a lot of time to decompress and to release all this energy. Yeah, to recharge. But right now, from uh, for, for reflectors, uh, it's important to, to give yourself time. I would love to learn how to read the gates and everything. Yeah, I can show you all of that. I can show you everything. Um... As a reflector, you need to maybe even take a full month for a big decision. That's what your authority, your strategy is, is to wait one cycle of the moon. So 28 or 30 days. If you need to make a major decision in life. Because in that time span of... 30 days you will come across all the different energy of other people and if you realize that it has changed your mind, changed your course, then it was never your decision. It is hard but it's worth waiting for. And of course, you don't have to wait 30 days to decide what you want to eat today, because that's impossible. But all the major life decisions should be uh, not impulsive. Just think of not being impulsive on your decisions, because you never know as a reflector where the impulse has come. If you're a reflector, you never know if the impulse was someone else, and most likely it's someone else. You reflected them. 